Today we're going to be reviewing a rare piece of software. Now, very recently, today, I finally got a floppy drive reader for the, like, four floppy disks that I have. And I've been meaning to pick one of these up for a very long time because of the thing we're going to be talking about. The a in-source NILS publishing company disk plus floppy drive thing. Um, from what I can barely tell from this ink, uh, apparently it was like a healthcare trial software. I'm not 100% sure. And it also comes with instructions. Now, I've wanted to make this video for a very long time, and I've actually wanted to archive this disc for a very long time, but I haven't been able to because I never had a floppy disk drive. Now, now that I have one, I can finally review this and archive the contents of this. Now, here's the thing. This piece of software is kind of rare. I can't really find too much information about it. So, I don't want to risk it possibly breaking this because floppy disks are notoriously fragile. And even trying to archive this disk, there was a few sectors that gave me errors. Luckily, none of them were important sectors. None of them were related to any programs, but it's still a shame that it happened. And I was still able to get this archived using this nice awesome little floppy drive but yeah so during this video you will not see me putting this floppy disk into this you will not see me doing that i won't even have this thing plugged in no the only thing you will be be seeing is me putting in the cd here as you can see now this is another thing about it it has a serial and password now, I think this has unlimited attempts, because from what I can see, this doesn't really connect from the internet, but again, I haven't really tested it out. Today is one of the only day I'm able to actually test out this disc. So, let's, let's get it started, and let's stop, you know, messing around. I will have uh, everything here archived on the internet archive in the description. So... You know, the front the front cover to this, if I don't end up making a 3D model of it. Um, the image to, the image file to the disc, so you can load it, and also a picture of the disc. And same thing with, you know, this disc. You'll have the ISO file, you'll have the everything, including a picture of the sticker, and a picture of the instructions as well. So yeah, let's just get it started and get everything set up. So the first thing we need to do is to open up my virtual machine of Windows 3.1, which I am about to do right now. All right, now that's started, let's start up Windows. So here we are on the Windows 3.1. Ignore the folder that used to be right here. That was a little error on my side. So we're gonna be looking at the instructions. There we go. Here's our instructions. So we'll zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're messing with. So, our first step is to insert the in-source CD-ROM disk into your personal computer's CD-ROM drive. You may need to insert, you may need to first insert it into a caddy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna insert our CD drive, which I will put here so you can watch me do that. Here's our CD. 
and we're going to insert it. Now, next step, turn on your personal computer, turn on your personal computer and start up Windows. InSource works with Windows 3.1, 3.11, and Windows 95. Right here, I have Windows 3.1. Insert the InSource installation diskette into the appropriate drive of your personal computer. This is usually the A drive, but on your personal computer, it may be the B drive, which again, because DOS can't open with a non-system disk drive in it. So let's just do that. Let's pretend we're actually inserting the, the floppy disk. There you go. Just pretend we're doing that real quick. And in reality, we're just going to go to, there we go, devices, floppies, insource, insource.ima. Right. Now, now that we've done that, make sure the diskette is not write protected, yada, 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 or the installation will not work. Open the Windows Program Manager, which we can do here. Main, file manager, and we're going to open up A, which has our, all our files right here. And we the instructions here. Now, what it asks us to do is Now, you know, run it. Okay, we're just going to run this setup.exe just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. This program will install healthcare in time onto your computer. Press the OK button to start the installation. You can press the cancel button if you do not want to install this software. Warning, once the installation is done, you cannot move these files to another location or another computer. So we're gonna click OK. And we gotta select where we want it to be installed, of course, the C drive. And we have a make backups. This installation can create backup copies of all the files replaced during the installation. Do you want to create backups of the replaced files? We'll say yes and do it. And there we go. Now we let it install. All right, now we are done. Last time I did this, it asked me to restart, which it clearly isn't. The installation will begin copying the, re the research software onto your personal computer's hard disk. Follow the prompts and respond to the questions as they appear in the installation process. Okay. Now we get to flip it over to read the instructions on this side. So, let me zoom out again. As a part of the installation, a directory will be created on your hard disk to store the software and in-source files. Before this happens, you will be prompted to either accept the default name and path of this directory or provide another name and path of your choosing. Your auto execute dot bat will also be modified adding the line. Yeah. This tells the software where important in source files will be located. If you're if you designated another path, the modif modification to the auto execute dot bat file will reflect your choice. Finally, the installation will create a new program group entitled in source, which which we have right here. And the in-source launcher icon, which, again, we have right here, highlighted. See figures 7 and 8 
in Windows 95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, to use InSource, just double-click on the InSource launcher icon. If you remove the installation diskette, you will be asked to reinsert it into the appropriate drive of your personal computer. Make sure it is not right, right protected. This is needed only for the first time you use InSource free trial to authorize your access. Then you can remove the installation disk from your hard from your drive. After that, you'll be asked to enter your password for the disk. So let's get to that step. Please insert the original disk and then select OK. All right, I, oh, right here. For your information, 300 minutes remain on your in-time account to arrange for additional time. Call the telemarketing department, yada, 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 between the hours of 7 a.m. and yeah, okay. And now we need to put in the password, which I'm actually gonna check if the passwords are the same, which yes, they are. Thank God I don't have to read the password on this very blurry thing. So right here, we have our serial and our password which we're going to input. I can't tell if that is an L or a 1. That is a 1. Okay. Incorrect password. No numbers, okay, so it was an L. It's just the L looks exactly like the one. Warning, you are using April 1997 CD-ROM disc. If your research question involves what the law was in the past, then using the April 1997 disc may be appropriate. However, for up-to-date information, you should use the current in-source CD-ROM dated December 2023. I, um... I don't think that exactly exists anymore. <laughs> um, that might, you know, I think they might have stopped making these. For more information, please contact us. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't think they still made these, but I don't I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one day at a thrift store I'll come across one. So here we are. We're in the healthcare. Now, we got to finish looking at the instructions to figure out what I'm doing. Welcome to InSource Healthcare. Thanks. You will find a password printed on the installation disk label until the password in a space. Yeah, we already did that. For information on using InSource features, consult the on-screen user's guide. Better yet, to get most of your free trial, print the user guide for easy reference. Oh, thanks. And then at the bottom is a questions about the installation. Call here. All right. Now we are done looking at this. All right. So we have a pop up. Let's actually zoom in a little bit. Welcome to InSource Healthcare, April 1997. The wait is over. InSource Healthcare is now complete. And from this, it's just boring stuff. We don't exactly want to read through this. So we're just going to close out of it. Bye-bye. Save current changes. Yes. Oh, oh, wait, okay. Open database. CTL? Maybe I should have read the thing. Here, let's reopen it real quick. I don't... Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. So let's not just random click, click stuff. So we have a file which has open database and all this other, you know, typical stuff. An edit, copy document, tamp, stamp date and time, stamp document title, browse table of contents, first page of the document, search, assists window so what exactly is this program we're about to see so let's full screen this and let's let's read it the addition of the state of the new hampshire in march in source health care disc now covers all 50 states the district of columbia and federal government delivering the most complete source 
for state and federal health care law information. In source, health care continues to work in progress. We will be adding both technical and informational enhancements to make your job complying with the state and federal law and regulations that affect your health care business easier. Now that in source healthcare service is complete, there is no better time than to add new states to your service. Call healthcare sales at 1 800 number. Please note for technical reasons, the Puerto, wait, Puerto Rico. Awesome. How to's. In source healthcare lets you find, find the information that answers your research questions two ways. Use in source like a book, you should explore the items to find under the browse menu, which we have here. So from what it looks like, it's just a giant book. I don't know why this is a free trial, but you know, I'm curious. So we're gonna do the place that I live in, Missouri. So let's see regulations. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Uh, let's look at the m mental health. Oh, there's more stuff. Uh, Director, Department of Mental Health. General Program Procedures. Advanced Directives. Okay, so from, from what it looks like, this is literally just a bunch of text documents. Disguised as a program, this is not moving whatsoever. Oh my god. Wait. Is this just one giant text document? No, you're joking. It has to load the disk while I'm going through this. Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, I can't exactly see anything that's too interesting. We can stamp date and time. Yeah, I didn't toggle. Um, last page of the document. Cool. Search, expression, assists. Yeah, there isn't really too much. Maybe, maybe the you guys will probably find more stuff to this. But from what I can tell, it's just... You know, a bunch of text documents. Uh, we're going to actually look through the files of it and see if I'm correct. Images. Oh, there's pictures. Oh, my God. For every state. There's a picture for every state. Let's, again, let's check Missouri. Oh, my God. It's a lot of pictures. And they're all in a file format that I'm not 100% sure on how to open. And we also have database. Which, yeah, is just text documents. hcguide.exe. Whoa. Whoa. InSource Healthcare. Using InSource like a book. Where was this? This is so much cooler. Printing documents. Using it like a book. Table of contents. Wow. This is a lot cooler. Go back to the main menu. We can go back to Windows. Okay, so we have a little program in there. And of course, text documents. So yeah, um, that was everything I could find to this. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry if this was kind of like a more boring video, because from all I could tell, this program is really just text documents. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And you all have a nice Christmas. Because Christmas is just a week away.